And hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, once again, I'm back here with this video. I first of all want to thank all of my subscribers. Thank you for the likes, the comments, and the shares. Thank you for um, sticking this thing out with me and just, you know, kind of tuning in to see uh, what kind of downloads that I get. I got a couple of, I got one download that I said that I would talk about later. I still haven't got as much information or any real clarification um, on that download, so I'm not going to talk about it, but I'm I'm telling you, the part that I've seen, I really want to speak on, but I can't right now because I'm really not sure as to what um as to what it really meant um i think it has something to do with the pack it up message that i had put out just the other day but until i get some like real clarification and real you know under understanding and understanding about that download i won't just you know i won't keep talking about it <laughs> but when i when i do get that I'll, I'll come back with it but um i'm back with this video with with this uh message this message to um to get grounded and stand your ground okay um you 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 and because at this at this time right now, y'all, like literally it's a war. Okay, it's a war going on. Um, especially spiritually, it's a war going on. People are trying to there are people literally trying to keep from um keep from having to um face the karma that they have to face, right? People are literally, you know, people like me who are bringing out the truth and and the understanding and understanding that I, you know, that that we have. We're literally bringing it out, putting it out there into the public, putting it out there into the world, and. And at first, you know, and, and like I said before, you're finding out stuff that in this war, in this time, you're finding out stuff that you never even had. You know, you're finding out people who had collaborations and they working together about certain things like you didn't even know. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're like, wait a minute. When have you, you know what I'm saying? When when have you ever had a relationship with the person that that I had, you know, certain experiences with? When you know, you you finding out people have relationships with each other that you never knew. Let me tell you something about that. As I said in plenty of my videos before. When the Pharisees and the Sadducees in the Bible, they couldn't stand each other. But when it was time to take out one person, when they wanted, when they all couldn't stand the fact that Yeshua was out here telling the truth, they came together. Okay, to try to defeat him. They came together. Okay, to bring despair and they, you know, they made a rumors about him. They lied on him. They said he was worshiping the devil. They say he was a demon. They say, he, you know what I'm saying? The point of it is, is that these two these two entities, the Pharisees and Sadducees, who had no relationship with each other, who actually could not stand each other, who had very different beliefs from each other, came together to try to bring down one person. And 
until this day, you got people who will really who really do that. They got a saying about it. As a matter of fact, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. So, <laughs> and as I said, it is a war going on right now, y'all. Um, and the fact that you out here telling the truth about people and, and, and who they are and what they are and how they behave and why certain things are the way they are, you're going to get people out here saying, oh, no, you know, they're trying to make it seem like, I'm the liar. They're trying to make it seem like I'm not telling you what's going on. Like, they're trying to make it seem like I'm not telling you the truth. People like me, who's out here telling the truth. They doing that to keep, to, to keep, keep the karma from off their ass. But it doesn't matter. Karma's going to follow you anyway. And as I said before. You collaborating with people that you don't even, like, you've never had a relationship with. So, as I said, the Pharisees and Sadducees will come after you, the enemy of your enemy, their friends. Your enemy of your enemy, your enemies are friends when it comes to you. They'll sit up here and try to say, oh, you, you lying. Or, matter of fact, let me tell you, I had put out a video um, a couple days ago, maybe. Maybe it was a couple days ago. And let me tell you something. I'm clairvoyant. And I heard after, I, after you know, while I was sitting here watching the video, I heard somebody somebody say, this lying bitch or lying motherfucker or something like that. So the first thing I said was, uh, if that's the case, if you, if you feel like I'm a liar, prove me wrong. First seat. Or Sadducee, whichever one you are, prove me wrong. Show me, I'm lying. Give me the receipts. Because I can show you receipts about you. Confirmation. <laughs> I can show you receipts, but you can't show no receipts on me. All y'all can do is get together, and this is what they'll do they'll get together. And then they'll just start spreading the word. And let me tell you something. Whatever happens in the 5D, it trickles down to the 3D. And when they start just talking crap in the ether realms, when they get to talking all that mess in the ether, the, the word spreads. That's how rumors spread about individuals. That's how rumors spread about individuals. They get to talking that sh in the ethos, and then they get to telling the next uh, demon, and then they get to telling the next demon, and they get to telling the next demon, and that's how it all just kind of spreads around. But as I said, demons lie, and the truth ain't in them. Lying spirit. Okay, and they'll say anything to, to, to try to shut you up about whatever the truth may be. Well, I know what the truth is, but whatever the truth you're putting out, whatever it is, they'll say anything to try to shut you up about it. They'll say anything to try to discourage you about it, but don't let them. You keep telling the truth. Let them to continue to make up rumors and come up with lies and get together to collaborate to take you out, take you down, or whatever the case is. Let them. We know what the truth is. 
And this is the only reason why you want to take me down so tough. This is the only reason why you want to say that I'm lying about something. is because I'm telling the truth. The only reason why you want me to shut up because we're telling the truth. If somebody was lying, why are you so irritated? If, if it's somebody lying, why are you so aggravated? When you know the truth, right? If you know the truth, why are you so... Why why are you so... Oh, you lying, bitch. You dead, 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 dead. Why, why are you name-calling and all this old nonsense? Because it's the truth. You know what I'm saying? People didn't did stuff, and people have people have made just the, made mistakes. People have people have people growing up like me, for instance. I'm gonna just say me. I made my mistakes growing up, but I've never stolen anything from anybody. I'm gonna tell you that I ain't never stole nothing from anybody. Especially in my family. That's one thing in my spirit. I could I could prove it. I would never steal anything from anybody in my family. Okay. And I've been in situations where I've dealt with narcissistic of uh, uh individuals. Ex relationships. Individuals who are mad that I won't even be with them. I don't want you. And not to say it, not to say it in a mean way, but we have no like we're not even on the same wavelength. We're not even on the same page. Reason being why I stopped dealing in the first place. Stop messing with persons in the first place. And every chance, let me tell you something. Every chance this narcissistic person God, they will call me or because they knew I didn't want nothing to do with them. They will call me just to have an argument with me, just to get a rise out of me, just to get some energy out of me. Still thinking of me as their supply because whatever supply they was using before didn't have nothing for them. And be, when I found all that stuff out, I cut that person off. But any chance they got, they found a way to get back in contact. Like, bye. You cannot use anything from me anymore. And this person I'm talking about was an evil person to me. Was evil. Absolutely. I could feel the energy around me as to how this person moved, what this person would think, what this person would say. Mind you, I was I was around this person for years. And for years, this person is very childish and immature. And because I didn't want to have a particular type of relationship with this person or a relationship, period. At all. They did nothing but lie about me. Spread rumors. And lied. I'm still trying to get. I'm still trying to get. Over the lies. Because. They, these people were lying about me. For a long time. But I never. Like it never even registered with me. Until, you know, until I really got on my spiritual path. Until these things started to be revealed to me. Which was years and years later. So these people have done a lot of damage. Slandering my name. They have done a lot of damage. But it never, it never affected me. I'm not affected at all. 
I've always still got up to do what I needed to do to take care of me and my family. I've still always got up and did what was necessary for us to make it or whatever the case is. And people want to claim that they are. People always want to claim that they helped you with something. You didn't help me. I paid you to help me. If that's the case. I paid you. Every, you know, if, if you want to talk about helping, like, okay, say for instance, you know, a person, like, say for instance, you know, I may have had a hardship or whatever, and I go to my family and I'm like, you know, I need, you know, maybe somewhere to stay or something, you know, like that. I'm shelling out cash. I'm paying my way. But people want to claim that they helped you do something. You didn't help me with anything. I paid you. Like, I, I don't understand. I paid my way. I made sure that we didn't, you didn't have, we didn't have to give you anything but what we was giving you. I made sure that we... You know, we didn't take up as much space as, and then as soon as I could, I got out of your way. But we paid our way. You didn't help us with nothing. We paid our way and we made our way. Didn't nobody help us with anything. No one helped us with anything that we didn't have to pay for. So how is you helping somebody? If I'm going to help you, I'm not expecting nothing back from you. That's real help. But if you help me and just say if you did, you, you helped me and I wasn't able to do anything for you. Oh, you, they, baby, let me tell you, you'll get dogged to everybody. I'm talking about you'll get dogged, and they call that help. That ain't help. You're slandering somebody's name. Calling yourself family. You ain't no family of man. You're not no family to me. You know, I show and tell my own children, your family, if your family member, if your family don't have something, you give it because if you got it and they don't, you give it to them. That's your family. And don't expect nothing back. But it'll be equal give and take within my family. Ain't no equal give and take within where I grew up. No equal give and take. Ain't no equal nothing. It's nothing but abuse, fights, drug use, alcoholism, sexual abuse. Don't play with me. Talking about somebody lying. No one is lying, okay? And y'all going to stop lying. And then, too, when people get to trying to slander your name, tell the truth. Keep telling the truth. See? Most people want to sit up and live an illusion all their motherfucking life. I'm not doing that. And that's another thing that people couldn't, you know, couldn't understand or deal with about me. The fact that I'm not living in nobody's illusion. I'm sorry. But that's not real life. Illusions are not real. Okay? People skip, people skip over the fact that motherfuckers been... 
being raped by their family members, huh? Motherfuckers being abused by their family members, sexually, physically. Like, people skip over that shit and try to act like the shit didn't happen. That shit happened. And the fact that the matter is, you don't want to fucking deal with it. You don't want to fucking heal from it. And so, because you fell for that shit, you will fall for everything fucking else. And any, as a matter of fact, you'll run up behind the motherfucker who love to live an illusion. Who will bring illusion to your doorstep and you will accept it. Because you don't want to deal with what the fuck is going on on the inside of you. Let me tell you something. I dealt with me. I dealt with what the fuck is going on on the inside of me. And ain't nobody going to sit here and tell me I'm a liar. The fact that you don't never want to talk about the fact that somebody got sexually abused by their family member. You don't want to never talk about it. You just want to skip over this shit. Like, it, like what the fuck? No. We don't skip over. Not in my household. We don't skip over nothing. We talk about that shit because we need to heal from it. That's another thing. Motherfuckers don't never want to face their demons. That's your problem. You don't want to face your demons, and so you're gonna go get everybody and anybody else that 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 will that will agree with you. Okay, you'll go get all of these motherfucking people that you think gonna agree with you just to try to bring one person down because you can't deal with yourself. Grow the fuck up. Grow up. If you watch any other of my videos. Look at my other videos and just, in all my other videos, I'm telling you to heal. Heal yourself. Heal yourself. Take all the motherfucking burdens and all that motherfucking heartache and all that unforgiveness and all that hatefulness and all that uh, ignorance out of your heart so that bitch can heal, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and get off of her, and I'm, I'm, you know, and I'm not snapping out yet. I'm not snapping. I'm just, I'm just, you know, really frustrated and tired of, like, like I said, the Pharisees and Sadducees, they'll come together just to bring one person down. And it's, it, it, it's obvious this shit's been going on for years. But let me tell you something. I've never been affected. I've never been affected. Okay. Nobody has ever had to make any hard choices when it came to me because I never came to anybody to, to just live off of them. No one has ever taken care of me. I've always had to take care of myself. When I've had all my issues or whatever issue or whatever problem I had, I took care of it myself. No one ever had to take care of me. No one ever had to tell me what I needed to do to to get wherever it is. I figured it out. I figured out what I needed to do to get where I needed to go or whatever it is that I was trying to do. I figured it out. And so it's frustrating that people really feel like, oh, yeah, I helped her and then she's just trying to say, you ain't help shit. You didn't help me ever, never. I, I paid you. I paid you, though. I paid you. So how was that help? And let's not forget, I helped you as well. Hmm? Let's not forget. When people needed a place to stay, it, you stayed at my house. And who charged you any rent or any money? Not me. I didn't charge you nothing. For what? Because I'm not that kind of person. Like I said, I get it from my dad. I didn't charge you anything. I didn't have to. But 
But just like people are saying, oh, I opened up my door. I opened up my doors too. I did as well. As a matter of fact, I opened up my doors. To some motherfucker that was on some bullshit. I opened up my doors to a motherfucker that had that did some shit they had no business doing. But I didn't judge you. I said, oh well, you know. I don't know, but you know, you always got a place here with me. And this is and this is what this is the kind of this is, listen, this is the kind of energy that a karmic wants to see out of a person. But I'm not here to snap on nobody. I'm just here to tell the truth. Stop living in illusion and delusion and thinking, you know, you could just skip over things just to make yourself look good. I'm going to tell the truth about me, about whoever else. I'm going to put it out there in truth wise. It's going to come out in truth. I don't have to slander nobody. I don't have to put rumors out on nobody. I don't have to do that. 1959 on my clock. 2646 on my timer. I don't have to. I don't have to. Because I don't have a problem with telling people what it is that I went through. Check, 20 hours. check out my videos. I, I, put, I put out there my, my truth all the time. Everything that didn't happen to me. Pretty much. All the mistakes that I have made. I'm not ashamed of whatever position I put myself in. That's me having to work those issues out. That's me having to... You know, put my best foot forward and make it happen for myself. I'm not claiming to, you know, act like I'm I was perfect. No one is perfect. But I'm not bringing anyone, I'm not spreading any rumors or lies about anybody though. And I'm not I'm not grabbing groups and groups of people Come collaborating with with my enemy, the enemy of my enemy, friend friendshiping and shit. I'm not I'm not putting groups and groups of people to come up against anybody else. I'm not doing that. I'm not going behind nobody's back telling them, oh, they did this and they did. Like, I'm not doing none of that. I don't have to lie to people. For what? We've all had difficult experiences. We've all had to live and learn. What am I going to lie for? So, 2848 on my time, or 2001 on my clock. I just wanted to get on her and... And say what I had to say because it was that that was just a very interesting and unnecessary uh read just something just what so I will talk to y'all later. Bye. Peace.